we decided to land in San Cristobal and fly out of Boltra. Now after you land in San Cristobal and you pay your fees and you go through all the process, the town is a 10 minute walk away and there are very nice sculptures outside of the airport. I suggest taking your time, take a few pictures and walk through the town and get a feel for it. There's just seals everywhere, taking over the town. Imagine if humans stopped coming here, it would just look like a seal town. San Cristobal is known for its large population of sea lions and marine iguana and makes it a must visit destination for animal lovers. Despite being the end of the dry season, the weather was still hot and sunny, providing ideal conditions for exploring the island's stunning cactuses which were in full bloom. We visited the Galapagos in January which offers a unique opportunity to witness the transition between the wet and dry seasons, making it a special time to visit this breathtaking destination. Watching the sea lions and marine iguanas display their unique personalities can be a captive experience. Whether they are playing, napping, or simply lounging around, these animals provide endless entertainment while strolling through the town. It is easy to lose track of time while observing their interactions, and one can easily spend hours observing their fascinating behaviors. The charming town of San Cristobal offers a unique blend of historic appeal and natural beauty. Strolling down its cobble streets, visitors can take in the sights of small shops and homes. However, the real magic lies in the wildlife that call this place home. Sea lions can be found sleeping on park benches and lounging in the bays. Marini go on a sunbathe on the shore. And the Sally light-footed crabs scuttle across the rocks.
always remember to bring lots of water whenever exploring any of the Galapagos Islands during this time as it can be very hot. San Cristobal truly captures the essence of the Galapagos, making it an unforgettable experience for those who visit. Now a trip to the Galapagos would not be complete without a visit to Playa Man. The stunning beach offers a unique opportunity to swim with sea lions and other fascinating marine life. Surrounded by crystal clear waters and an array of wildlife, Playa Man provides a once in a lifetime experience that should not be missed. Whether you're an avid snorkeler or simply enjoy lounging on the beach, Playa Man is a must visit destination for anyone visiting San Cristobal. Before you take off to the Galapagos Islands, there are a few important things you need to keep in mind. When booking your ticket, make sure you select the L option for foreign visitors, as there are different sizes of tickets for locals. Be aware of the pop-up to choose the correct ticket may not always appear. If you accidentally select the wrong ticket, you could be subject to an additional fee of $150 when you try and leave. So when you arrive at the airport in Quito, you'll need to purchase a park pass. This costs $20. It is important that you keep this park pass with you because when you leave the Galapagos Islands, you'll need to show proof of purchase for this pass. If you do not have this pass, you will have to buy another one. Additionally, after you land in the Galapagos, after customs, you'll have to pay a $100 fee per adult and $50 per child to enter the park. Visiting the tortoise sanctuary in the highland is an essential part of any trip to San Christian Ball. It is a great opportunity to get up and close and personal with these amazing creatures from the newly hatched tortoises to the fully grown adults. Watching the young tortoises move around and exhibit their unique personalities is especially enjoyable. With luck, you might even get a chance to observe one of the larger adults up close, which is truly a fascinating experience. Maybe he wants to cross the road. It is easy to lose track of time while observing these captive animals. We ended up spending about three hours here. The trail at the sanctuary is not difficult to walk. You can even do it in flip-flops. First you hire a taxi from town, which is approximately $30, and they wait for you while you explore the sanctuary. And as for an added bonus, you can take the five minute drive down to Chino Beach, and it's a beautiful place to have lunch.
after you finish visiting the tortoise sanctuary, you can take a five minute drive down the hill to Playa Chino. It's a beautiful place to have lunch and is only a 10 minute walk from the parking lot. This video will focus on the Interpretation Center in San Cristobal. Located just a 5 minute walk from Playa Man, the Interpretation Center offers an easy walking experience with informative exhibits about the discovery and formation of the Galapagos Islands. Access to the center is free, but you'll need to sign in at the main gate. During our visit in January, the weather was dry and we didn't encounter any wildlife at the center. However, the center provides easy access to several trails leading to different destinations including Kerala Beach, where you can observe sea lions and marine iguanas playing in the bay 
and a monument of Charles Darwin. Once at the monument, the trail takes you down to a rocky bay where you can snorkel and see a variety of fish, sea lions, and marine iguanas. The calm waters make it an ideal place to cool off. There are stairs and a platform into the water for easy access. The trail also leads up a steep hill to a lookout point which offers stunning views. There is a large map on top of the hill and a path leading down to the shoreline. However, be advised to wear closed toed shoes if you want to take the path down to the rocks from here. The shoreline is dotted with rocky beaches and the hike takes about 30 to 45 minutes. The end of the trail leads to Playa Baquizo, another rocky bay that is good for snorkeling at low tide. A resident colony of sea lions live here, but I would suggest exploring other destinations instead as the beach is very similar to other beaches nearby and if you have limited time in the Galapagos, it could be spent elsewhere. The path to Playa Liberia is approximately a 10 minute walk from the parking lot or a $4 taxi ride from town. Once you arrive at Playa Liberia, you'll be greeted by a vast sandy beach completed with a small shelter and beach sticks to hang your belongings. We saw this baby sea lion trying to find his mother for cuddles, which is quite an endearing sight. Although the sea lions here are generally docile and used to people, it is essential to maintain a safe distance of at least 2 meters and refrain from touching them. Unfortunately, some visitors don't follow this rule, like the lady who kept getting in my shots and pushing her luck with the sea lions. It is best to arrive at low tide to fully enjoy the water with the sea lions and turtles, as it is a fantastic spot to go snorkeling. Aside from the sea lions, this is also an excellent place to see the marine iguanas. If you come here during low tide, the water will only be a couple of feet deep 
providing an amazing opportunity to observe the turtles up close. During our visit, we were fortunate enough to witness this playful sea lion having a great time with a piece of seaweed, showcasing its unique personality. During our visit we encountered at least six turtles and several dozen sea lions playing in the water. Video of you. So what are you doing? Uh, just watching the seals. And turtles? And turtles. Yeah, are you having fun? Yes. Well here comes a seal. It's like seal soup in here. Overall, we highly recommend visiting Playa Liberia when in San Cristobal, Galapagos. It is a must-see attraction for anyone who wants to witness the beauty and nature up close.